YouTube is a job. YouTube is a job. I told y'all it's a job, man. Whoa, it is. I mean, it's cool, but it's work, man. It's definitely work, effort, all of that. Yeah, man. Anyway, man, this is bananas because now we on episode 40. Whoa, episode 40, y'all. Yeah, yeah, so I saw the other day um, another video. Right, so I'll put it up here with another video of the Jacob Blake dude. So now Jacob Blake is the dude who got shot seven times in the back while he was, um, you know, um, I think he was breaking up a fight or something like that. And then he went, the cops was trying to stop him, like, hey, come here, come here, something like that. It looked like they had the guns drawn or something. And then he went into his car, and then when he went to reach into his car, the cop grabbed it, the car door. And shot him in the back seven times. Boom, 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 boom. Whoa, he didn't die. He survived. All right, okay. Oh, and his kids were sitting in the back seat. That's another important factor here. His kids were sitting in the back seat. Okay, so now that's crazy. Bananas. So now, more so than that being bananas, what happens after that? What happens after that? A video, this video services. Okay, the video services, what does it say? Whoa, what? Somebody called the cops on him. Whoa, now that's too crazy. How is that even possible? I thought this guy was just innocent, just there breaking up a fight and so on and so forth. That's what they were saying. Now, he should not have been shot seven times in the back. I don't think so. I don't think so. From what I saw, it didn't look like he should have been shot seven times. Shot at all, period. But he should have known better. He should have known better. These cops are killing people. He should have known better than to act like that and then go and then run into his car like that. He should have known better. Come on, bro. Come on. Okay. Now, it happens to be that there was some domestic thing going on. The girl who was out there called the cops on him and said, yo, he's here, he ain't supposed to be here, get him out of here, something like that. And then, the video shows that the cops and him was fighting and wrestling on the ground. Whoa. So what happened to him, he was just breaking up a fight, and then he walked, and then he got into the car, and then he shot him. That's everybody was upset about that. But, come to find out now, way after four or five days after the riots and all this other stuff there's another video that shows him fighting with the cops on the ground then gets up and allegedly has a knife or something like that and then goes into his car so i don't know did he have a knife and try to put it in his car so he didn't get in trouble i don't know or was he a dumb dumb to try to go in his car to get the knife i don't know but he admitted to having a knife it's neither here nor there but why would you fight with the guy? Yo, we gotta stop fighting with the cops, man. I know it's, it, I know I've been, it's, I've been through it before, and it's hard, man, to be a man and have another man tell you what to do, or have another man grab you and put you, because you know much the cuffs go on, you know it's a problem. But they're killing people. But you know what? It, it's crazy. It's, even if we say, yo, don't do this and don't do that, there's going to be a cop who's going to, the guy's going to comply. He's not going to resist. He's not going to do nothing. He's going to have his handcuffs on. He's not going to say nothing smart. And we're going to have a cop who's just going to be a dickhead and fucking beat him up or kill him by accident or on purpose or whatever. It's just going to happen because it looks like no matter what black people do, no matter what, it's just always a cop who's just going to just ruin it <laughs> you know what I mean but for the most part man most cops from what I see they're not trying to kill nobody they're not trying to do all that right? they're just trying to go home you know they're not trying to get shot and killed that's what it is so they're not trying to get hurt you know and they're scared some of them okay they might be that type of person that just wants to just kill people just to do it for fun I'm sure there's those that are out there you know what I mean but for the most part I don't think they're like that but 
Either way, now people did all the rioting. More people died during the rioting. More had damage was done. All this other stuff during the rioting. They're rioting for this dude, and then the dude ends up being wrong. He was already wrong for running into the car like that because he should know better. And we don't live in a world where you can just do that and then not get shot up by the cops. We don't live in that world. I mean, we wish we did, but that's not the world that we live in. So now all this rioting and everything happened. But meanwhile, this dude was, he was kind of wrong. He shouldn't have been, I don't know. Anyway, man, tell me what you think, man. Tell me what you think, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. YouTube is a job.